Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 156. Let's go ahead and get started. Though some respond to hate with kindness, others return that kindness with hatred. Think about the time Empress Rashta donated the large sum of 20 million crutes after her wedding. I was puzzled. This was all someone from a poor commoner background who was a mistress, then became an empress overnight. How could such a person get that much money so fast? Then I came across something interesting while looking into it. It's common knowledge that imperial checks can be only be issued under the emperor or empress's name. But the merchant group that is responsible for producing the imperial checks hasn't released any new ones in a year. The only imperial checks that have been issued were in Imperial Sovatius and former Empress Navier's name. A look into the record of the Empress check usage revealed zero discrepancy. This means the money Empress Russia donated actually came from former Empress Navier. She might have left that money as an act of kindness for her successor, a woman of humble origins. It's a right to use something that belongs to another person as if it was yours. Ooh, that news article is out and people are flabbergasted. It's a right to falsely represent someone else's generosity as your own. It's deplorable. The Remarried Empress, episode 156. <laughs> you must push harder, your majesty. Push, your majesty. You're almost there. <laughs> I had hoped that things would be different in the palace. But I guess it doesn't matter where I give birth. It still feels like my body was torn apart. How, how's the baby? The baby is a healthy little princess, your majesty. She's a princess? A girl? Look at my first child. First child? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's go with that. Isn't she lovely? There are still a lot of child care books I have yet to read. There's a great deal your papa has to do, my dear. First. We must hire a nanny to tend to my child in my absence. Pardon? Surely he can't be implying. Does your majesty not intend to entrust the child to Empress Drashta? I can't leave an infant under the care of someone who will harm small animals without a thought when things don't go her way. What about the slave transaction papers? Are you still looking for them? I apologize. Progress is slow as only a handful of people are conducting this search discret discreetly. That is a problem. I need to get rid of anything that might cause future trouble, especially now that my daughter has been born. Uh, I do not mean to pry, your majesty, but may I ask if you intend to father a second child with the empress? Hmm. If not, it might be advisable to divorce her promptly and find a new empress from a prestigious family to bear a successor. My successor is right here. Pardon? What do you mean? What matters is that this child carries my blood, not whether she's a boy or a girl. There has never been a female monarch in the history of the Eastern Empire, Your Majesty. Only princes born to empress consorts have the right to rule. That is merely a custom, is it not? The child will make history by being the first reigning empress. 
I'm at loss for words. Think of the resistance you will face. I'm not going to act hastily. I'll take my time quietly preparing for her secession until the time is right. Keep this a secret from Russia. I ended things with the woman I love most to keep this child safe. It was all to protect my daughter. I will name this child Gloria. So that all the glory in the world is hers. I will see to it that the world is yours for the taking, Gloria. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, it's always wise to prepare things in advance. And this also applies to Henry's birthday. I have to prepare something conventional in addition to what he wants. Oh, is she baking? Oh my gosh. The nobles will surely ask what I'm getting him to avoid gifting him the same thing. <laughs> I plan on bathing in the nude with his majesty because I'm gifting myself, wet and covered in bubbles. I can't say that. Henry was very touched when I made that crude omelette. So I like to bake a cake and include it along with my other official gifts. There we are. Hmm. This one should be... Gloom. No, it doesn't taste right. <laughs> oh my. Have you been trying to bake a cake this whole time? Mother? This is actually my fourth attempt, but it still doesn't taste like... Stay oh. The cake that you used to make me and my brother every year. I want to give my husband a birthday cake in the trophy style. Uh, this is why I wanted to, to stop you. Please don't be shocked by what I'm about to say. The truth is, the head cook baked those cakes. Pardon? But... Yes, it was the head cook. <laughs> you know, fully well that cooking is not my forte. Navier. You want to see His Majesty look happy while eating a cake you baked, right? Then get a delicious cake and say you made it. But that would be a lie. It's better than having him eat something that doesn't taste good, is it not? It's not like he'll know that you didn't bake it yourself. You just have to make sure he doesn't find out. Don't tell your father about this. I had no idea my mother kept such a secret. Well, it's true that I'll never have known if she hadn't told me. But I feel Henry was more happy with the thought that I made the omelet than it actually tastes. Will he really not realize that I didn't bake it? He's beautiful even when he's sleeping out of exhaustion. He's also lovable. That's why it's dangerous. Do I love him? Or do I not want to love him? I'm not sure. Uh, Henry, what are you... What is that? Huh? Is that because of the mana bed? Or what's going on? Or from the previous episode of The Gem, when the girl touched it, she had like a shockwave. Could something coming from that effect ripple to there? That's just a hunch, okay? I'm just guessing over here because theories, theories. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we just know Rashta gave birth to a princess and that princess will be a queen taking over the Eastern Palace, right? Eastern? Western. Eastern. I keep on messing up. But... Okay, now they're in the process of thinking, how do they get rid of Rashta? And Rashta would not go out quietly. You guys know that. <sighs> but did she really say, it? was she really the one who said, my first child? Because I was going to be like slapping her. Like, how dare you forget your first child? What kind of mother for does that? That's really messed up. I like In real life, there are women who actually do walk away from their kids. And like, 
run off with another man because their new man don't want their kids so they just like abandon their child and just run off with this man and then build a new family with this person and just totally ignore the kid that they birth out Ugh, i just i can't stand those type of women like oh anyways if you guys enjoyed the way i read this and reacted to this webtoon Feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this read, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!